This is Red Magic 8 Pro and today I will show how you can boost system performance on this device. So to start, I would like to tell that this phone itself, as it is, as it comes from the box, is a pretty powerful and productive machine to start with. So there's not many things you can actively change to enhance system performance since a lot of features over here, a lot of performance related features are smart features, AI features, which will automatically adjust all those things in, accord in accordance with your usage scenario. And if they, uh, for example, notice that your system is lagging behind and could use some performance boosts, they will most probably do that. But well, AIs are unpredictable. But I mean, that's something to something worth mentioning, I figured. But if you would like to learn about um, how to actively change something, at, le at least slightly, a little bit, so first measure would be to clear RAM cache by, well, opening the list of recent apps and tapping at this button over here. Then you can also try clearing uh, your storage, which will not do a lot, but still something that is worth uh, mentioning. You will need to go into settings, advanced settings, or excuse me, settings about phone, phone storage, free app space, then select the tool you would like to use for it. In my case, I'll go with Google Files, why not? Then open the clean section and see if it has any measures for you to uh, complete or to perform. And if it does, just do them. Then what you might also want to do is to enable the uh, fan active cooling feature, which is a very um, characteristic feature of this phone. And well, um, in order to do that, you will need to go into settings, cooling fan, turn it on. I just, I also recommend that you select the fast cooling, fast cooling mode uh, in oppose, opposing the auto mode. But I mean, you can enable auto mode and be well off just fine. Uh, well, I guess the final advice that I would give is you, if you notice that you're uh, device is slower than it should be is to check whether it is it is in the power saving mode which you can do by going into settings battery battery saver and make sure that it, it is indeed disabled turn off now and well uh, I would assume that'll be it so thanks for watching thanks for your attention and bye bye